Welcome to Reading High School. We are here to broadcast the Reading C team. Tom, Tom Reading Dolan. Reading C team. Reading C team. Pop Warner going against the opening day. The Wilmington Wildcats, and we just had a nice tribute to September 11th. And uh, I think the audio didn't work inside the, the, the booth with here. The, so with the, with the music, anyways. I noticed that the Reading team picked up and started Ooh. the national anthem themselves, and we had yeah. a nice rendition. Perfect. Some good singers in there, Tom. Perfect. Perfect singing. Thank the Lord they didn't get me on singing. Well, we got our captains out there. Let me just read the captains uh, for Reading. We have uh, number 24, Colby Goodchild, out midfield, with uh, James Murphy, number 12. We also have Aiden Beckenhuis. He's number five. Rocco Marsharelli, number eight. And our last captain is Colin Donahue, number 71. Ready for this Wilmington team to come out and captains get going? I'll tell you, Tom, it's been a great summer practice season for this team. I'm really impressed with the seven coaches that have dedicated their time and get this team ready. And these kids are fired up to you. play football. Twenty, I think about 20 of these 33 kids have never played tackle football before. So this is unbelievable. And this is a different team than it was last year. This completely different team. We had a tough season, this, most of these kids last year, this year. Reinforcements. Whole different team. Whole yep. different team. A lot of the kids uh, were playing in the Saturday Night Lights football right here at the stadium where they played uh, flag football on Saturday nights. And uh, most of those kids made up the rest of this team. So it's, it's great to see. Very excited. Good. Multitasking. Saturday nights into Sunday morning, all football. What a weekend. I talked to one of the coaches. I talked to Col Colin Donnie, who's dad. Uh, what's his first name? I don't have it right here. Oh, here it is. Rich. Oh, yeah, Rich Donahue. And he uh, he's coaching the offensive line. He says these kids are big. They're agile. They're really focusing on their quickness. So it'll be fun to watch that. It's a hard-working team. Here we okay, go. we're going to go to the kickoff right here. Reading's uh, lost the toss. Did they win or lost? I didn't see if they won or lost that toss, but they are kicking off. They might have deferred, like Bill Belichick likes to do. Often. Very often. So we have Giacomo Ayapika on the kickoff. He's got a good leg. And here we go. Yeah. Number three, bringing it back for Wilmington. And who's in on the tackle there? It looks like it was Ben Wright on the stick. Beautiful. All right, we got the defensive unit out here. It's led by Coach Puelli, I think, is kind of the defensive coordinator for the team. Coach Marsharelli's the head coach. Jim Murphy leading the offense. Coach Donahue, offensive line. Coach Ayapika, fitness, conditioning. Conditioning coach. Yeah. I've never seen a body like a like Ronnie Ayapika. He's got arms of steel. Please, Tom, please. All right, first play, first and 10. Right up the middle and stopped at the line of scrimmage by Redding. OK, we got second and nine for the Wildcats. A bit of a split formation here, single back, man in motion. Oh, it's a reverse. And Redding is not fooled. It looked like Aiden Beckenhuis on that tackle. He was all over him. Not they, a lot fools, Aiden I think they lost about a half yard. It's still second and nine. OK, here we go. Third and nine. Can Redding stop him at the 45? It's a sweep. Oh, great tackle by Alex DiNapoli. That was a big tackle by Alex DiNapoli for a loss, forcing Wilmington to punt. And here it is, and it's a short punt. It's kind of a squib. Looks like it's going to roll out of bounds at the 45. So Redding will take over at their own 45 and their first offensive possession. All right, Redding offense coming out. And I think we have Colin Donahue at center, first one out of the huddle. And, oh, the rain's picking up here. We had rain roll through in the D-team play. James Murphy behind center. Soul back. And it's a fake. And he's going deep on the first play to Colby Goodchild. And it's incomplete. They tried to. All right, it's second and 10. All right, we got. Two quarterbacks in the backfield here. We got Ayapika and Marsharelli, and it's handoff to Marsharelli. And no gain. 
and we have some rain coming down pretty hard. The fans are scattering. Big with a downpour. We got a lot of the fans right behind us in the booth, Tom. This is exciting. We do. We do. All yeah. right, it's a pitch. Uh-oh. Oh. Dropped it briefly, and now he's running. Colby Jules, good child, is going to get some yards. He's got the first down and more. Wow. Wow, what a play. That was a big third down conversion by Redding. What a run by Colby. Wow. Boy, he's got some skills. Up. Broken play. We've seen that in the preseason and oh, last yeah. year, from what I understand. Save the okay, big we got a there. I got a bad snap, and James Murphy covered it up. No gain. Second and ten. Okay, we're back. And uh, second down and ten from the Wilmington 34 yard line. Murphy under center, two backs set. Looks like it's to Marsharelli. And maybe a couple. Maybe second and eight. Third and eight. Okay, big another third down conversion attempt by Redding here. Fake handoff. Murphy's rolling out. Oh. Okay, we're back on the field. And we got a third and long. Let's see if they can convert another third and long. From Wilmington's 30, I doubt this is a punt situation. And it's not. They're going to run a play. We got one back to Murphy's left. Looks like Marsharelli. Just to correct you, I think that's a fourth and long. They're going for it. Oh, fourth oh, and long, correct. Fumbled, yep. fumbled oh, snap. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, it's recovered right. by Wilmington at their own 46-yard line. What Tom and I are going to do in the booth here, we're going to do player profiles. Uh, we'll highlight uh, the captains of each game. And uh, the first player we're going to highlight is Kobe Goodchild. He's at Parker Middle School. He's seventh grader, number 24. And uh, his favorite musical artist is Run DMC. He likes the Raiders when he's not, when he's not rooting for the Patriots and enjoys a Hershey bar, at, and also likes to go to Chipotle with his family. So. Okay, we got first and 10 for Wilmington, their second offensive possession. Back to throw, number seven. Incomplete, what a play, what a breakup. Who was on that? Was that uh, Colby Goodchild, who said his name a few times already? Absolutely, what a player. Okay, we have second and 10 after that incompletion. Oh, we have uh, motion. It's hard to know whether that was offense or defense. They're calling on the offense. They'll move them back five yards, and they'll start second and 15. Okay, here we go. Second and 15 for Wilmington. They're on 40, one. It's a pitch. It looks like the defensive end is there and made a great tackle. I think that's Aiden Beckenhuis on the tackle. And it is. All right, here we go. It's third and about 16 for Wilmington. Shotgun snap. There's pressure on the quarterback. Sacked by DiNapoli. We got a flag on the play, too. And it's a hold. That will certainly be declined, that penalty. Coach Marsharelli declines that smartly. Okay, we have fourth down and long. I would think a punt situation here. But it's not looking like it. But they're Four lining up. Coming they're up lining up to run a play. At this level, you're not sure when they're going to punt. Wow. And Redding's adjusting their defense, and they're throwing it long. Really interesting call there, Tom, to, Very to give Redding. It Possession looked like a, it, on their own 30 yard line. They didn't fool Redding at all. No, although they, he did get out in front, the Wilmington player. He, he got a little daylight, but the Redding team looked ready. And here we are back at the line of scrimmage. Thanks for picking up on me there, Tom. 
Okay, we're going to a shotgun. We have Marsharelli and Murphy as quarterback here. Marsharelli right to his left. Nope, that was not Marsharelli. Yeah, it was. I think I was calling. I think I was calling. Okay, they break the huddle. Murphy on to center. One back set. Looks like DiNapoli's out wide. It's a pitch to Rocco Masciarelli. We got a loose ball. He's back on it, though. That was smart. Jump right back on there. That absolutely was a smart play by Rocco. Tom, it seems like uh, teams have been having trouble, certainly Reading team, ha hanging on to the football. I wonder, very dry summer. They don't know if they have a lot of experience uh, working with uh, wet football. Yeah, certainly, uh, certainly a, a very uh, slippery pill today. Murphy rolls out left. It looks like he's going to keep it. He goes around and maybe a slight game. We're live. We just had uh, Andrew Tapia's dad join the booth here. It's nice to have him in with us. And it looks like we're going to go back and punt the ball. And it looks like we have a timeout. All right, so Redding had set up for a punt, and now they seem to change their mind, and uh, maybe they never intended to. They wanted to see what Wilmington was going to do. Okay, they're moving around. Looks like we got a pass play. Murphy's looking, looking. It's a fake. He's got a wide open receiver, almost there for Aiden Beckenhus. They've just missed on a couple right now. We're off. Ethan and Quinn. Do another player profile. We got Rocco Marsharelli. You see uh, he's number eight right there. Tom's zooming in on him. He's at Parker Middle School. He's a seventh grader. Um, he likes to um, eat a Twix bar while skiing, actually. He spends a lot of time skiing with his family. And his favorite movies, The Benchwarmers. And as a football player, somebody he idolized from way back is Bo Jackson. And uh, we can Who see. Who didn't idolize Bo Jackson? And you can see by his running style, he likes the power. You no, know, I waited tables Rock. on Bo Jackson one time way that back. That is line. interesting, Tom. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're back. Wilmington has the ball. On their own, 32 yard line, 33. First and 10. I formation. We got Rocco as the middle linebacker. Kobe Goodchild on the outside. Evan Panucci in on that tackle. It's hard to see who's in the inside there. Maybe Rizza, Max Rizza in on that as well. I think on that last tackle, we also had Josh Robichaud in on the tackle. Okay, we have Giacomo Iapica coming back into the middle from the wide right. It's a fake handoff. They're looking deep. It's a tip ball. Kobe Gil Goodchild, I think, got his hand on that. All right, back. Third and nine for Wilmington. And they got a spread formation. Handoff left. It's a sweep. He's got a few yards, and it looks like that was Rocco in on the tackle after about six yard carry. So they're coming up with another fourth down. Very unlikely little punt. What? We got a fourth down and short right now. Wilmington going with it. Okay, very similar formation with two split outs in the I formation, two running backs. They've done this a bunch of times. It seems like their go-to offensive formation. Straight up the gut, and they did get it. They pushed through in on the tackle. Again, Rocco and number 40 was also in the tackle. That was Dylan Sweetser in on the tackle as well. 
I see Tim Burns getting on the field along with uh, Michael Fabiano joining. Also Colin Donahue's back on the field as well. Ryan Stroke coming off. Oh, Alex Danapoli running on. I think we called a timeout because of the late entry of, of Alex. Okay, we're back to action here. We have uh, first and 10 for Wilmington. All right, looks like he's back to throw again, but we got pressure and in on the tackle. Well, that was Alex Dinapoli. What that a breakdown. Was a hard tackle there was too. pressure before that, too, that helped Alex, but Alex took him down. Great, we have Quinn Dolan coming on the field, and it looks like coming out is Giacomo Ayapika. All right. All right, we have second and 10 for Wilmington. Tom's calling a pass play here. Let's see if he's right. It's a pitch. Oops. They're oh, going out wide. Go. Looks like we got some coverage here. And in on that tackle, number five, that was Aiden Beckenhus. We know Coach Puelli and the other coaches have been really coaching these defensive ends and to really play contain. And he played it well. And as the running back cut back in, he cut him down. It's nice, nice defense. Okay. Okay, back to action, third and 10 for Wilmington. They're on their own 45-yard line. We've got some communication. Uh, Joe Puelli talking to Quinn Dolan. And it's a reverse. And it looks like they have some um, running room. They say have some running room down the left side. Alex Donapoli is chasing him down. Oh, somebody comes across there. Number 20, who stopped him there? It was uh, Alex and Colby Goodchild. Seemed like they were fooled by the fake there. The whole Reading team went with that reverse. Absolutely. After a big pickup for Wilmington, we get first and 10. And they're on our 25. I should be more objective and say Reading's 25. And it's a pitch, a handoff, wide. We have Aiden Beckenhouse on the chase and Colby Goodchild. They get him out of bounds. After almost a first down, I'd say they're on the 21-yard line there. Okay, we have uh, Kobe Goodchild coming out. There's maybe a little tweak to hamstring there. James Murphy replacing him on the field at the left, left defensive back. All right, we have a second and short for Wilmington. It's a pitch. Oh, oh, we got a ball a on the ground. Evan Panucci, did he recover it? He did. Fumble recovery by Redding. What a turn of events. We needed that, Tom, as they were ready. Huge. As Wilmington was marching down the field, we really needed that stop and that turn of events. That was great. Great. Okay, we have first down and 10 for Redding. Their own 25-yard line. Murphy behind center. It looks like he has Aiden Beckenhaus and Rocco Marcharelli in the backfield. Split out left is Giacomo Ipica. We got it on the ball, another ball on the ground. Having trouble with the exchanges, Tom. Yeah, there's been a lot of trouble with that. It is a wet ball today. Hopefully the Although, they, you know, they'll, they'll you and I have out. had trouble with our exchanges too. So First you know, half of the first we're all, game of the we're first. All learning how to do this First thing. season together with this team. That's right. There's a lot to learn, a lot to learn. Long second and 13 for Redding. And we got a shotgun set up here. And it was a quick handoff, but no gain. No gain. Looked like a little bit of a fumbled snap there. Yep. Dave, it was, um, again, those exchanges have been tough today. Yep. Right guard. He just entered. And just entering the game is Ben Hennessy at right guard. And here we go, lining up. All right, we have third down and 15 for Redding. It's a shotgun snap. Murphy rolling out left. He's got a man open. What a reception. That's Ryan Stroke. Ryan Stroke with a big game for Redding. Probably their biggest gain of the game. Fantastic. What a huge catch. Acrobatic right there. Very acrobatic. What a great. Great catch by Ryan Stroud on that last play. Fantastic. All right, we have uh, first and 10 
from our own 46-yard line, Redding's own 46. Looks like a straight handoff to Aiden Beckenhaus, and he's powers through for six yards. What a nice pickup. It'd be great to see Redding start to make some plays right up the middle. I feel it's starting to click right now, Dave. I do too. Yeah. All right, we're, uh, we've got no score in the second quarter. Two minutes to go, and Redding on the move here. A few good plays in a row. We've got Murphy behind center. It's a fake handoff. He's looking deep again. He's got an open man. What a play. Colby Goodchild, I believe. It is. The offense is clicking, John. It is really starting to turn it up right now. Two-minute offense. Going right into it, David. Here we go. It's a hurry up. Murphy's got them in position. It's going to be another shotgun snap. We got Rocco, and we got a timeout. Redding. They don't want the clock to run away on them. Okay, we got another first down for Redding. They're marching down the field. They're on their Wilmington's 24-yard line. And we got a shotgun. Marshall to his left. He's looking left. He's looking deep. He's got an open man. Is that Ryan Strode again? Wow, he's been hitting Ryan Strode deep in this game. And they're going right into that hurry up offense last Once two again. A lot of pressure on Wilmington's defense right now. They're looking vulnerable. And here we go. He's under center. Oh, he spiked the ball. All right, they want to stop the clock there, Tom, with a minute and 28 left. Okay, we're back. Minute and 28 left. Redding appears to be on their Wilmington's four yard line. And we have Colin Donahue out center first. And it looks like Murphy's going to do it from a shotgun. He has Marciarelli to his left. Shotgun snap. He's looking. Wide open. Touchdown. Jesse Doherty, our big tight end. What an exciting play. What a drive, Tom. Fantastic. He threw the ball all the way down the field. The receivers were whole, wide the open. The whole drive was unbelievable. He made great catches. Good, cover, good uh, pass protection by the offensive line. Just good team play by the Redding team. There is so enough like, time left there for the Wilmington team still to score. Though, so that's true. So now we're up 6 nothing. Um, okay, here we go. It's one point for a conversion and two points for a kick. So they're going to go for one. Murphy behind center. Looks like he's going for the handoff. No, he's rolling out. He's got a wide open receiver. And that is Aiden Beckenhaus for the one point conversion. So we got a 7 nothing lead for Redding. What a great drive. Beck and Hughes, is that right, Tom? Beck and Hughes is right. Um, Ayapika. It looks like he's our kicker. OK, we're go back uh, to the game here. And we have Giacomo Ayapika on kickoff. Looks like he's been the kicker and punter for the game here. And it's a squib kick, but it makes it through all the way down to the 20-yard wow. line. Wilmington picked it up. Oh, great tackle. I think that was Max Leone coming out of there. And I'll tell you, watching in the scrimmages this year, Max Leone is a hitter. I'll tell you. He's not afraid of making contact. I've been impressed Didn't with his play. From that, from that hit right there. It was beautiful. Okay, we're back first and 10 for Wilmington. They just have a minute and six, 50, 66 seconds left to see if they can get points on the board. Back to throw. He's looking deep. We got coverage. Colby Goodchild. Pretty well covered there. He would have had to make a great pass to get that in. All right, we're back. Second and 10 for Wilmington. Sixty-three seconds left. First half. He's looking to throw across the middle. Incomplete. All right, we're back to third and ten for Wilmington. A minute left. Those last two plays only took six, six seconds total. Under center. He's looking. He's looking to throw. We got. We made contact on the player. Oh. Murphy on coverage. And we had deep. We had Rocco, I think, playing safety. I think the impact. Oh. We still live? We were. I think we made a hit on the quarterback. Okay, fourth down and 10 to go. 
53 seconds left in the half for Wilmington. If the defense stops them, this could be the last meaningful play of the first half. Or it could mean that Redding gets another chance to score. Ooh. It's a handoff up the middle, and oh, Redding is all over that. I think that was Alec Grande in on the tackle. It was. He is pumped up. Look at the Redding defense coming off the field after great work. Redding could very well plug it in for another. You're right, Tom. I don't think they're going to kneel it down with 42 seconds left. No. I would not, not be surprised all. to see if they attack at this point. Okay. All right. I think the um, the official clock was a little different than the the clock operated by the booth here. So that was the end of half. That was the last play. So the clock's all run off, and we got. Uh, 7 nothing score, Tom, after two quarters. And the Reading team, really, that last drive. They see, actually, the last drive and the extra point, boy, they had a great run. It was great to see them, the offense, start to put it, pull it together. And they get the exchanges down and the shotgun snaps. Everything was working much better in those it last did. drives. That last drive was, was, was beautiful. Very well executed. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do another player profile here at halftime. And it's going to be James Murphy. James goes to Parker Middle School. He's a sixth grader. He's number 12. You saw him play quarterback in this first half very well. Touchdown pass. Was it a touchdown pass, Tom, or was it, uh, did they run it? I can't remember. It was. I think it was a touchdown pass. There was that's a touchdown pass. Yes. That's right. Uh, his uh, favorite sports logo is the actual Reading Rocket <laughs> logo. And he is biggest sports fan of all time is Joe Montana, his sports star. And uh, he likes doing the Oklahoma drills at practice and enjoys dandelions with his family. And, you know, James is actually the son of a famous uh, writing person, somebody that uh, is really well liked. It's Allison Murphy. So uh, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Don't forget that uh, Mr. Murphy, Coach Murphy, is also oh. one, one oh, of I our esteemed co coaches tonight. Oh, Just right. had the camera on him, jogging out to the field. And I think he played a few games here on this field way back, didn't he? You. These yeah. coaches out here, they work hard. They worked them hard all season. Coach Swanson, Coach Mascherelli. Yes. Coach Iapica. That's right. We have Bill Robichaud. Coach we also Murphy, have Coach Robichaud. Do we, do we uh, mention them all there? And Coach Rich Donahue. Rich Donahue as well. And there they are debriefing on the first half. And I think they should be quite pleased the way that the defense was solid and the offense uh, started clicking in the second half. The way that last drive went was all right. We'll, all together. We'll come back to you for the third quarter. All right. Okay, we're back to the second half of the Reading Wilmington C Team Pop Warner game here at Reading High School. And we have uh, the Wildcats kicking off to the Rockets. And who do we have deep here? It looks like we have Colby Goodchild and I think that's Ben Wright over on the left. But it did not really. Oh, they re that's an onside kick. We didn't recover that ball. That went more than 10 yards, and they picked up the ball. I believe so, Dave. Not a great play for Redding. for Wilmington after their onside kick or kick recovery. I'm not sure if it was an onside kick. And their first and 10. Quarterback's under center. Looks like it's a handoff straight up the middle. And he got about five yards in the carry. OK, we're back. Second and five for Wilmington. Tight formation. One back, one receiver split out right. Hand off, fake, fake hand off. He's going deep. Coverage looks good for Kobe Goodchild. That's intercepted. Kobe Goodchild is coming back left, down right. Going up the left sideline. Does he have the speed to make the turn? Wow, what a return. Great play by Kobe. And here comes Colin Donahue up under center. What a good recovery after a busted up kickoff. Great there. interception. They really needed that time. Huge. All right, we have Murphy on the center. Oh, it's a quarterback sneak for four yards, three, four yards. Changing things up a little bit. Small wins, Dave, small wins. A Quinn Dolan checking in with Ayapika and Pueli coming out. Flat pass to Quinn Dolan. He made a great and lost. Preseason game, he made a nice reception. Watch him out to the right here. Uh, offside. The play. Offside's Redding. 
Looks like we're going to be moved back five yards here. Maybe second in about two, 11 or 12. Okay, we got Murphy under center. Two split wide receivers. Looks like Aiden Beckenhuis out back. And then it's a pitch to Ben Wright, but he's tackled for a loss. Wilmington read that one, Tom. They certainly did, Dave. We now have a uh, long third down play right here. Yeah, we got Kobe Goodchild checking in. Are we live? We are live, Dave. And Ben Wright checking out. It's third and about 20 for Redding. 7 nothing game here in the middle of the third quarter. It looks like the communication, um, they don't know the play here. And okay, looks like we're in a shotgun formation. We got Aiden back in house, back in Hughes. Split right. Quinn Dolan split left. Calls a timeout. Like a little, little confusion. A little confusion on the, confusion on the play. It looks yeah. like um, the play didn't get into James Murphy. Spent the burned a timeout on that one. <laughs> the late block party last night. Really on your street? Yeah. Yeah. We getting any cheer? What was there any? They're, uh, they're only cheering. Are the there any play. good stories you can share with the block party? No, nah, nothing big. Yeah. Shotgun snap to James Murphy. He's looking. Out left, Kobe Goodchild. Swing pass. He's got running room. Broke a couple tackles. He's going down the left sideline. Oh, a face mask? Uh, absolutely. After about a 25-yard pick arc, he got face masked. I think he's going to get another 10 or 15 more. I don't know what that and what the yardage is. And I saw Ben Hennessy in there on the, uh, on the blocking. Excellent. Great lead block. Okay, Ben Hennessy sprinting to the line of scrimmage. Murphy under center. Quick handoff to Beckenhuis. Maybe a yard pickup. So over here for Redding. Up, oh, just missed them at the end. Okay, we're back here, second and nine. For Reading. Soul back, is that? That might be Rocco. It is. It's a fake handoff to Rocco. The fake work. Murphy's wide open. He's going to get a lot of yards here. Could he get in? Almost. Down to the two yard line. That's his best run of the day. What a keeper. All right, here we go. First and goal for Reading. Moving up to the line of scrimmage. We got three wide receivers. Looks like it could be a pass. Oh, Murphy takes it again. Is he going to score? Maybe a yard. Okay, back second and goal for Redding. I think they're on the two-yard line here. Murphy behind center. Aiden back in house deep. It's a handoff to Rocco Mascherelli. He's powering through. He's pumping his legs. I think he got it to the goal line there. Maybe right at the one. It's going to be third and short, Tom. As the clock ticks on. OK, they're keeping it going here. Hurry up offense. Murphy takes it in for a touchdown. Oh, they called a penalty. Offsides. I didn't see what happened there. OK, here comes they're going to up under center. Yep, they're going to replay third down. It looked like they weren't set. I'm not sure how that might have been the call before that last play. Okay, third and five. He's moving out right. That looks like Max. Oh, that's Jack Ramo moving in motion. Now he's back left. It's a fake handoff. He's got an open man. Aiden Beckenhuis down with a two. He wanted that touchdown. Certainly did. He deserved that touchdown. Okay, fourth and goal. Can Redding get another score here? It's fourth and two. 
I formation. Two wide receiver split. Looks like a handoff off the middle. Oh, he got tripped up right at the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be a change of possession. Good drive, though. The next, like, penalty or something will do it. Okay. We are live back here. It's first and 10 on their own three-yard line for Wilmington. It looks like uh, it's right at the goal line. Big defensive stand. The defensive front was holding there, Jim. Doing it. Tom. Whatever your name is. Can I call you Jim? You can call me Jim anytime <laughs> you want, Dave. I was watching James Murphy going in for a tackle there. I That's why I got, I got confused. His famous father. <laughs> All right, let's go to a commercial here. I got to do. Uh, okay, here we go. We're back, and it is second and eleven for well, Wilmington. Deep in their own end zone. Yeah, yeah right on the. Zone. I think they're on the goal line. The Reading D pushed them back on that last play, and it's a pitch left. He gets through the line of scrimmage, but not much. I think he's out to the three-yard line. That's good defensive play the last couple by Redding. Third and long for Wilmington. And it's a handoff up the left side. And he got run he's got running room, but a big tackle. Aiden Beckenhues came in and made a big tackle. If he doesn't make that tackle, that could be gone. In fact, we're going to do a quick player profile on Aiden Beckenhues right now. Um, he is a Parker sixth grader, like a lot of the kids. He's number five. His favorite musical artist is Jason Aldean. Do you know that, Tom? I don't know who that is. Jason Aldean is a country singer. He's fantastic. Oh, there he goes. He he's likes to, to the Boston area singer. Yeah, Aiden likes to do his homework when he gets home from school. He loves the Oklahoma drill at football, and his favorite non-football sport is basketball. He's had a great game out there. Okay, we're back first and 10 from their own 22 is Wilmington. Looks like a handoff left. And we got somebody, shoestring tackle by, that was 82. I think that is um, Ryan Strout. Ryan's had a great game, offense and defense. All sides. A couple big receptions for that scoring drive for Redding by Ryan. And a big tackle right there. All right, we're back second and 10. Second and eight for Wilmington. Still 7 nothing. We're into the fourth quarter with 7.58 left. He's under center for Wilmington. Handoff left. And uh, it looks like Ryan Strout's in on the tackle again. And uh, I think that's Alex DiNapoli as well teaming up on that tackle. Solid defense in the second half by Redding. Seems like they really shored that up. Actually, it wasn't bad in the first half either. Five. Okay. Wilmington, third and eight. Their own 24-yard line. Tight formation. Oh, looks like we got a sack. And that was number 84. That was Evan, Evan Panucci on that sack. Great play. We're going to do another play, player profile right now. We have... Uh, Somebody that's been playing both ways, uh, center, Colin Donahue, number 71. In fact, he's the last of our five co-captains today that we've been doing player profiles on. And uh, he goes by Colin. He loves the Houston Texans as well as a football team when he's not rooting for the Patriots. Enjoys a junior mint every now and again. And loves the movie Remember the Titans. Also uh, looks to Howie Long for his defensive skills. Here we go. Fourth and... 12, 14, pitch left. It looks like Aiden Beckenhuis in on the tackle, and he's got the first down. Uh-oh, he stepped out of bounds. Lucky for Redding that he stepped out of bounds because that would have been six, Tom. Okay, we're back first and 10. After that big pickup for Wilmington down the sideline. Looks like a left handoff. And Redding seems to be all over that. Maybe a yard or two. <coughs> Tate Dolan might have got stung by a bee in the booth here. So our cameraman's working on that right now. 
It's a pitch left for Wilmington. And a nice tackle by Joe Puelli. Okay. Joe. Molly's trained how to do it. She can do it. Okay, we have uh, third down and eight for Wilmington. It's a shotgun snap. He's throwing it out left, but they're all over him. Aiden Beckenhuis, what a tackle. He read that play, and he leveled the Wilmington player. Probably one of the biggest hits of the game. My, my broadcast partner, Tom Dolan, had to take his son Tate out. He got stung by a bee. So we have Molly Strout joining us in the booth, whose son has had a fantastic football game. And Redding uh, fourth and eight. This is a big play for them. Seems like Redding has read that. Was that Joe Puggs on another tackle? No. Yes, it was. I'll tell you, Joe Puelli made some great defensive plays on this series. That's huge. And we take over the ball. Fantastic. All right, we're back here with Redding first and 10. Great to have you in the booth, Molly. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Shotgun to James Murphy. He's looking back. Oh, there's pressure. But he avoids it, dishes it off to Rocco, and maybe a yard. Avoid. It was good to avoid that sack by James. You've been enjoying the game, though. I have. It's yeah, good. I, Brian's played fantastic. Thanks. We really enjoyed watching him today. As we are second and ten from Reading on Wilmington's 40-yard line. Looks like Murphy's going to go under center this time. He's just got Rocco in the backfield. Aiden back now. Oh. Center keeper. He's been doing that more in the second half, and it's been working. And he got about four yards on that. And it'll be third and six. Well, we hope Tate, Tate Dolan's OK after that big bee sting. And um, here we go. It is uh, third and six for Redding. Soul back, Marsharelli. Or if he fakes the handoff, he's got pressure on his backside. He didn't see it coming. Fourth down. All right. Fourth down. And Redding calls a timeout. And back to punt is Tom Frado. Thomas Frado is at punt. Need a good snap here. And the kick. It's caught. Number 44 is taking the left side. He's moving quickly. Tom Frado's going to make the, the tackle. Oh, no. Joe Poelli tries to die for that. And it looks like Redding has, or Wilmington has got six points. We see a flag on the field way back at the 35 yard line. This could be coming back. Go to the, to the flag. Okay. And it is lucky for Redding. This is coming back. There was a penalty. That could have been a game changer, Molly. That could have been. Would not have been good. We're also enjoyed, joined in the booth here by Chuck Strout, who's uh, one of the official photographers of the Redding. Rockets, along with my wife, Amy Hennessy. She's on the field somewhere. Maybe um, we can get the camera on her, too. There she is. First down and 10 for Wilmington. That play brought back really, really helpful to Redding. He's under center. He's looking deep. There's nobody there. Second down. OK, we're back second and 10 for Wilmington. One split receiver. Turns left, handoff left. It's going wide. This player's starting to get a lot of carries and making a lot of plays. Kobe Goodchild trying to run him down. Big save right there. Oh! The hustle of the Reading team really paid off there. They all fought to get back in that play. Playing till the whistle. Okay, we're back live. I think the player that carried the ball, number 44, might have been injured on in that last play for Wilmington. He's had a couple good runs. One was called back, but he looks like it's hard for Redding to bring, bring down. Unbalanced line left. Fake left. No, handoff left. Murphy 
And Beckenhaus. Beckenhaus. Knocks him out of bounds. Jesse Darity runs onto the field on the right, right at defensive end. And there's one minute left in the game. Wilmington marching down the field on the R15. It's a handoff to the right side. Looks like Redding's got it covered. And I think that was Colby Goodchild in on the tackle. We've called his name a lot today. Yes, he's good. The action here, we have uh, third and short, Jordan, third and three for Wilmington. About a minute left in the game. The game clock says 110. We don't know what the official time is. Could be a little bit different. We've noticed that in the last few quarters. It's a handoff left. They've been going left a lot. Number three breaks loose, but somebody brings him down there. Number and five. it was number five. That's Aiden Beckenhuse. Nice catch, Molly. So it is a first down for Wilmington. And they're doing a hurry up. They don't know how much time's left here. And uh, he nailed it down. Broken play. Second down. Leave it running. Here we go. OK. He spiked the ball. Needed to stop the clock there. It's third and goal. They put down the yardage markers, and they have two plays to get in the end zone to try to tie up this game or take the lead if they go for the kick, if they score. So the defense has got to stop them. And here they break the huddle. Third and goal from about the 11-yard line. Key play of the game right here. It's a handoff left. And who's going to make the tackle? Did they stop him? They did. They got him out of bounds. Aiden tried, and I don't know who ended up bringing him down. Was that Rocco Marcharelli might have been in on the tackle? I think it was Rocco. Couldn't see. Yeah. OK, fourth down. Crucial play of the game right here. Man in motion. Up. Oh, official time. It looks like Redding called, de called the timeout again. They want to use their timeouts. There's no reason to save them here. This is the last play of the game if they can stop them. All right, Molly. As Molly just said to me in the booth, this is uh, very nerve-wracking. This is, could be the last play of the game if Redding can stop them on this play. It's a pitch right. There's a sweep. Aiden Beckenhaus is all over him. And they stopped. They won the game. Yes. What a tackle for a loss. What a game by Redding. Colby Goodchild came in. Aiden Beckenhaus pushed it out wide. Great contained play. What a win for Redding. You know, for a game with only a seven to nothing score, it seemed like there was a lot of offense. Both teams were able to move the balls, move the ball at different times. Um, but uh, what, a, what, a, what a win. I think they'll just be nailing down the ball now at this point. Provided there's no. Um, Snafus on the snap. I think Redding can just nail down this ball a couple times. And it's a victory for them. What a game. A lot of great play both ways. That was awesome. Defense really held all day, and the offense made the plays when they needed to. Great game by Redding. All right. Murphy's out there to kneel it down. They're in the victory formation, Redding. Excellent. Coach Mascherelli's telling them they won the game. He's pretty pumped up. And that is it. There they go. The Reading C team, first game, victory. Yes. What an exciting game, Molly. That was awesome. It was great to have you in the booth right here in the game. Great for And uh, proud of the team for a great win. Awesome win. Okay, we'll sign off from Reading High School, and you can stay tuned for the next game.